Fires are burning all over the region, forcing thousands to evacuate overnight. Entire neighborhoods told to get out. We'll have live team coverage all morning long. And new video overnight shows the LNU lightning fire in Solano County now encroaching on Vacaville. And our Kit Doe joins us there now. Kit? Hey, hello. Good morning. So, yes, we are live here along Pleasance Valley Road in Vacaville. Uh, lots of smoke, lots of flame out here. We just saw this fire uh, creep up into the trees, burst up, probably going at least 100 feet into the air. This home that you're seeing that is burning right now was not on fire 30 minutes ago. So it gives you some sense of the uh, unpredictable nature of what is going on out here. So this is Pleasance Valley Road. This is Encinosa Creek that we're standing directly above. We're standing on the bridge right now. This house, ooh, there you go. That was an explosion from uh, a propane. propane tank, you think? Yeah. Um, so this is just south of the creek. And uh, this is uh, about a block south of uh, Foothill Drive. So this is uh, kind of oriented to where we are. So um, just hours ago, dozens, if not hundreds of people have been evacuated in the middle of the night in what uh, looks basically like a worst case scenario. This is the scene, uh, as you see right now, active flame burning on both sides of the street. Uh, this is uh, along Pleasance Valley Road, which stretches the entire length of Vacaville from I-80 all the way to 128, at least several miles. Uh, these folks who live here on this road went to bed last night, figuring that since the fire that was burning near Lake Berryessa was at least four or five miles away, that they were safe. Not the case. By midnight, heavy winds suddenly picked up and then blew those flames and hot embers straight down through the canyon like a blowtorch. Our Katie Nielsen was right there, and she captured some of the devastation herself. In that footage, you can see that the smoke literally going sideways. Firefighters and law enforcement personnel, they had to go door to door, banging on houses, to wake people up and get them out. In many cases, they could not wait to see if anybody would knock on the door, so they just kept on moving. In those initial chaotic hours, firefighters did not even have time to connect hoses or spray water. They were simply just focused on saving lives. We spoke with one family who tried to drive out, but then their vehicle caught fire, and then they ran on foot. I got all my children out and everything, but then I just panicked a little bit, and it took me a while to get out. So my husband was driving the car and it hit burnt. He got burnt and he had to leave the car and it blew up. So I was walking down by myself and I got all these flames on me and I lost my shoe, but I made it. God save me. How are you? Uh, this map shows the approximate area of the evacuation zone. The area in red is Pleasance Valley Road and the mandatory evac order stretches from Cherry Glen Road in the south to Blue Ridge Road to the north. So we're back here live now. We're standing about, I'd say, 50 yards or so. The heat is incredibly intense. You can see the shape, the silhouette of the house there. Uh, don't worry about us. We're safe. We've got our uh, escape routes planned. But uh, we think it's important to show you guys these live pictures of the devastation that basically caught everybody off guard out here in Vacaville. I'm live. Uh, I'm Kitto. We're live here in Vacaville. Back to you.